Ben Shapiro's Ben Shapiro's of, the, sm- of the whole bunch, and, he, and he's, he's Jewish. He's not Christian. He was a yarmulke. But what'd you do with Christian values exactly? Right, the one that says that if God tells you to kill your own son, you should do it. Right, Abraham. I, I don't know how much you know the Bible, but like God tells Abraham, go kill your son. And Abraham says, okay, off I go. Right, no questioning, no rebellion. And this is why he's this is why he's a hero. Right, why is he a hero? Because he didn't doubt. He just God told him to kill his son, so he went. To, what kind of God is that? What values does that teach you? You know what value it teaches you? Obedience. Now, obedience doesn't lead to freedom. Obedience doesn't lead to the, the, the American Revolution. Obedience doesn't lead to the, the, the Enlightenment. Right? Okay, t- take, take another one. Moses comes down from the mountain with the Ten Commandments. Right? And a bunch of Jews are worshiping a golden calf. Right? They disobeyed orders. So he doesn't calmly lay the tablets down and go over to them and say, look, I believe in religious freedom. Go do your thing. You go over there and we'll do our thing. No. He drops the Ten Commandments because he's so frigging furious, right? And they shatter. And he picks up a sword with his brother Aaron and they slaughter 30,000 people in one day. And God rewards them because this was a good thing. Okay, where's religious freedom, tolerance of different points of view? There's none of that in the Old Testament. Now, granted, the New Testament is softer so the Christi- because, it's, because it's a religion of, 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 uh, of weakness, right? Uh, you know, Judaism is a, a, a religion of transition, and Islam is a religion of strength. Christianity is a religion of weakness, right? So, yeah, turn the other cheek, yes, if any Christian does that, right? Love that neighbor like yourself. You know, that's, that's, that's because Christianity... Is, is a minority religion in a Roman Empire that is crushing them and destroying them, so they have to get along, right? But it, it's not for any theological reason. It's, it's a political reality. So they create a religion that's politically feasible for them to, to exist under, right? It develops under that. And when they get power, guess what the Christians do? Once they get political power, they have Augustine rewrite the story of turn the other cheeks so now they can slaughter people and they go off and they start conquering the world. You know, there's no difference. So there's no Judeo-Christian values that are consistent with freedom. Now, yes, I don't know. You got, you got a personal relationship with God, some of them say, and, and, uh, and uh, what else? Uh, you know, thou shalt not murder. E- every single religion in all of human history has a commandment that shall not murder. Nothing unique about Judeo-Christian tradition. I'm sure in Korea's tradition, there's somewhere law that says that's against murdering. So it's, where does it come from? Where, you know, yes, it happened, the Western civilization developed in Europe. You know why? Because Greece is in Europe. They lucked out. So Western civilization is Greek. It's not Christian. It's Aristotle. It's Plato. It's not, it's, 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 what do they call it? I forget the name of the sculptors. Per- Pericles was the politician. Anyway. Sibylis. Yeah, it's those guys. They created Western civilization. And they were pagans. And, and when did Western civilization wake up? At the Renaissance. The Renaissance of what? What was it a Renaissance of? Of Greece. And what's the Enlightenment? The Enlightenment is the application of Greek ideas to science and to pol- politics and to everything, right? So there's no, forget about, you know, there's, n- I mean, I'm not saying there's no value in the Judeo-Christian tradition. There's some value. Religion is a primitive form of philosophy and people need it and it's, there is a value to it. But to attribute the success of the West to that is absurd. And if you, if, you, if you read the Founding Fathers in the Federalist Society, how, in the Federalist Papers, you know, the debating political issues and the debating these things, how often do they cite the Old Testament or the New Testament? Almost never. Who do they cite constantly? Montesquieu. Montesquieu, a French philosopher, right? I think he was an atheist. They cite Locke. You know, they cite philosophers, not religious leaders. They don't cite the Pope. Right? So it's, it's it, mind-boggling to me. Uh, but, it, but it's only, you know, America's obsessed with religion, which is my biggest disappointment with America when I came there. I came in 1987. And um, 
I couldn't believe how obsessed everybody was with religion. Even the objectivists, the, the, the atheist objectivists, constantly were talking about religion. To me, like, I became an atheist, I think, at age six or seven. And, like, that was it. Religion was over. And, you know, and, and it wasn't like I didn't go to synagogue and I didn't, we didn't have our Friday night prayers. I did all that. But it was like religion was gone. I, I, I went through the motions. I had a bar mitzvah. I did all the motion things. But I never, never thought about it twice. And yet Americans constantly think about religion. And they can't, div it's like, but it, but it really is. They believe, like Jordan Peterson does, that you cannot have morality without religion. And I think they latch onto the religion because they want to be good people. That's my more benevolent view.